What's up guys, it's Bragman. Today we're going to be getting the Cup of Lone Tide, finally! If you don't already know, accessories can have buffs attached to them with specific items. The Cup of Lone Tide in specific gives you plus 6 DR. It also looks sexy as f***. Right now we just need two of these shards of the Furious Knights and then we'll be good. Any second now, we should get those two shards. Any, any second. And, 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 hey, there we go. Oh my God, oh my God, one more. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And, and, hey. Baby, yeah, we've got a hundred. Guys, we can finally make it. We're gonna finish up the scroll and get on it. These are the five things that we're gonna need. We're gonna need 100 blackstone armor. 30 magical shards, 100 shards of the Tearful Knight, 100 shards of the Furious Knight, and 100 heart of the Arid Forest. In order to get the magical shards, you need to melt the crystals. They have to be black magic crystals, just like any of these. All you do is press L, open up the heating tab, put in one of these crystals, and hit start, and boom, there we go. Next up is the Shard of the Furious Knight. So this is where we just were at, at Castle Ruins. Of course, make sure you press escape, go to switch, and pick an Elvia server for these locations. All of these locations are on Elvia. Castle Ruins is just to the southeast-ish of Heidel right here. Make sure you do pick up your dailies by seeing this guy right here. Just map there and you can get the dailies. Again, this is probably where you're going to want to grind if you can find a group. The money here is absolutely bank. Again, we just left Castle Ruins, which drops Shards of the Furious Knights and Heart of the Arid Forest. The next place we're going to is Oryx. This is the solo spot where you're going to want to grind when you can't find a spot for Castle Ruins or if you just prefer it over here, just to the southwest of Heidel. Again, make sure that you click on this node here because he does have dailies as well. So here's Oryx. This is a great spot to grind to. Awesome solo spot. One of the best. And you're going to kill 10,000 of these whenever you're solo. Doesn't matter where you grind for these pieces. You can grind at Oryx or Castle Ruins. Again, for the Shards of the Furious Knight or the Hearts of the Arid Forest. Now, some of these places do have mechanics. So go ahead and check some links. That I'm going to put it in the description below. I wouldn't worry about the Hearts of the Arid Forest. They drop at Castle Ruins and Oryx. So just worry about the Shards for the most part. Of course, Black Stones you can get off the Marketplace. So don't worry about that. So the first place we're going to check out is Alter Imp Habitat. Just right click on the node. Anywhere around here is where you're going to be grinding for those other blue shards. So again, just to be clear, for these blue shards of the Tearful Knight, you have two options just like the other shards. A party spot here or a solo spot at Fogans. So here we are. This is Alter Imps. Definitely check out the mechanics for this one. This one's pretty interesting. Kill a billion of these guys and get those shards as well. Again, that's a duo spot. If you want to solo, just come down to Swamp Fogans just east of Glish. So here we are at Elvia Fogans. This is another great grinding spot in Elvia as well. You're going to kill a billion of these and collect those shards. So when you're not at Altered Imps, just come to Fogans if you want to keep grinding for those shards. So again, just as a quick recap, the Heart of the Arid Forest you're going to get at the locations that you're going to be grinding for these. So I wouldn't worry about these. Mainly, you only need to concern yourself with these two shards at those four locations. Melt a couple crystals and save some armor stones. And guys, that's it. We can officially make it. I'm so excited. Let's go. Here we go. Let's press L. We're going to go into the heating tab right here. We're going to put in those 100 armor stones, 30 magical shards, 100 shards of the tearful knight 100 shards of the furious knight and 100 hearts of the arid forest let's make that belt shiny baby let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go baby boom so we're just gonna right click on the cup of lone tide to open our black spirit menu for the reform gear menu we're gonna click on tongrad belt then we're gonna click on cup of lone tide then we're gonna reform baby let's go let's go let's go hell yeah baby let's go oh my god it's so beautiful Ooh, shiny and guys that is literally it definitely a long grind but not too bad just stay persistent and keep at it eventually i'll have to get another one for my pen belt in like 10 years but that's okay those spots are so good with money you guys will have a blast grinding for it go have fun and make your belt shiny let's go thank you so much guys for checking out my channel today i really appreciate it don't forget to hit subscribe that would mean so much to me and also hit like if you want some extra rng let me know how long it took to get yours i'm curious and as always, don't forget, shine harder, baby. Let's go.